Hi, everyone. I'm Jason from Elder Needs Law. And I start the episode, all these episodes the same way, saying I'm an elder law attorney and we do our Medicaid planning and our estate planning. But there's lots of services that can benefit my clients that are just not what I do. And today I'm thrilled to have Terry Echarte with us. Terry is a daily money manager. In fact, she is the co-chair for the American Association of Daily Money Managers, Florida chapter. And she's going to talk to us today about what is daily management, money management, what services she provides as a daily money manager, and how it can help you, your loved one, your elderly loved one. And Terry, thank you so much for being here. Please introduce yourself. Tell us about what you do. Thank you, Jason. Thanks for having me. So Great to be with you this morning. Um, yes, uh, Terry Isharte, I'm a daily money manager. Uh, I'm a member of the American Association of Daily Money Managers, and we are financial professionals who specialize in working with uh, adults, families, and we take care of personal financial matters. So budgeting, billing, banking, the kinds of uh, personal financial tasks that people really sometimes feel overwhelmed in dealing with and need some help and assistance. And it's typically something the CPA or the attorney does not do. Yeah. So tell me what typically at what point in time in someone's life are you typically getting involved? Well, if it's for a, a specific client, it could be an older person. It could mm -hmm. be uh, someone who's recently got divor gotten divorced. It could be uh, for uh, anyone that's experiencing a change in health, a declination in health, or mm -hmm. maybe their spouse is. Mm -hmm. It could be for adult children who need help in caring for their parents because they're a sandwich in the sandwich generation or yeah. maybe dealing with their own children, their own families, maybe travel, businesses, yeah. and aging parents or aging relatives, and they may be reaching out for help as well. Yeah, I think you hit on, I think you hit on a few of some very common scenarios that I see in my elder law practice. You know, sometimes you have a married couple and one spouse was really in charge of the money. It was really in charge of making sure the bills got paid and making sure the money was coming in and checking on the investments and things like that. And when that spouse passes away, mm -hmm. sometimes the one who survives is uh, you know, they're just not their forte and they just need some assistance. Is that, that exactly. sounds like a very common area. Exactly. Yeah. And people should not be reticent to raise their hand and look for assistance. And it's, I always enjoy getting the message out that we are here to help. Yeah. Um, and we're here to help people maintain their independence. It's not about taking away their controls. It's not our money. It's their money. It's our uh, we're, we're a benefit and of service to protect their money. Mm -hmm. I mean, oftentimes there are scams that happen yeah. and people get taken advantage of and we're there to be, uh, you know, overlooking that and, and trying to assure that that does not happen. What do you say to, you know, the adult child of an elderly individual who feels like they should be taking on this responsibility themselves? You know, it's my responsibility to take care of mom and dad but they're busy and they have their own families and they, you know, this is, this, this, this is a burden. You know, I feel like a lot of older children might feel guilty about delegating to someone like you. How, what, what do you think about that? I think that that could be a common um, mm -hmm. feeling or emotion to experience, but I also think that people have to recognize what they're good at. Right. what they have time for, where they want to focus, where they may need to focus. Yeah. And realistically, we just can't, we can't all be good at everything and we can't right. all do it all. And, and I also, I'm sorry, one other point I yeah. want to make mm -hmm. is that I, I love to work very, very closely with family members. Um, yeah, that's a lot of about, transparency is very important. That's exactly what I wanted to get to, which is I think when people feel um, maybe even threatened about turning over the financial controls to a third party professional, even one who's as qualified as yourself and who has all the, you know, all the all the distinctions uh, that one would be looking for. Um, talk a little bit about that. How is the process transparent? How does either the client themselves or maybe their adult child, how are they monitoring what you are doing? Every situation is very, very different. Yeah. Uh, it could be through continual phone conversations or conference calls, could be periodic mm -hmm. meetings, monthly reports. Mm -hmm. Some people want to see that and other people do not. So it really depends. And I, it, I take every situation in a very individual basis um, to not overwhelm people if they don't mm -hmm. want to be overwhelmed. 
and to, to be a, a source of comfort, to give mm -hmm. them peace of mind that things are getting taken care of, things are not falling through the cracks. But everybody's a little bit different in yeah. terms of, so and, and also to, there's technological differences. Yeah. So it's fair to say you'll tailor the experience to their comfort level. Or, Correct. You know, I mean, yeah, very absolutely. good. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're right off the bat, we're going to be identifying priorities. Mm -hmm. There may be a lot of things to address. There may be debt to negotiate. There may be credit card fraud. There may be too many banking accounts, and maybe we can simplify. There may be health situations, which I need to refer out, mm -hmm. or maybe there's important documents missing, right? That as an attorney, you would know that these clients need. We have to identify all of these things and create priority. So it's almost like a business plan. And I like to work very closely with the client, with their family members, with their trusted advisors, such as CPAs and attorneys and uh, healthcare providers and financial advisors, all mm -hmm. of those parties. But I don't, I don't overstep my bounds. Very good. Yeah, listen, bills have to get paid. We don't want credit card debt piling up. We want to make sure FPL keeps the lights on. And these are all really, really important things. So uh, can you talk, to, break it down a little bit more for us? What, you're, what, what are you typically doing for clients? They're coming to you, we, and we know now you're paying their bills, their rent's getting paid, their mortgage is getting paid, you're making sure all that's getting done. Anything else that you're typically helping these, these clients with on a, on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis? Yeah, it could be credit, credit card reconciliations. Mm -hmm. It could be getting together information during tax prep season mm -hmm. where people need help gathering all of that information, organizing it. Uh, it could, I, I, there are cases where I'm doing all of it and there are cases where I'm doing parts of it. So sometimes it's a project. Sometimes yeah. it's coming in and getting files in order, making sure important documents are in place. Uh, so it, it's, it's varied. So yes, bill paying, credit card, reconciliation, banking, budgeting, um, financial documentation, and um, just making sure that that's all organized. Um, but again, it could be other projects and uh, there could be credit card debt. Maybe there isn't. So maybe there's negotiations that need to be take place there. Um, so it, 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 there's so many different circumstances and uh, I have a lot of information on my yeah. website. So that that's kind of where I list it all. And then I'll also mention that there is an Ameri the American Association of Daily Money Managers, which is a good repository uh, mm -hmm. of information for people that are either looking to connect with a daily money manager or looking for frequently asked questions and answers and things of that nature. And I also offer a complimentary consultation. So I'm always happy to explore situations and see where it is I might be able to be of assistance or point people in the right direction. Yeah, we're going to put your phone number and a link to terryesharte.com in our in the show notes so people can can go directly to you. And I think I think what I want people to take away from this is um, you're there to make their lives easier. You're there to take stress, remove stress from their lives, whether it's the stress of the elderly individual themselves or whether it's the adult child who has assumed this responsibility of taking care of their elderly loved one, you're there to help. And I think the million dollar question is, what's this stuff cost? Oh, that's a good question. So thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. um, just to remove any confusion, mm -hmm. um, each daily money manager operates uh, their own business and we charge almost universally on an hourly basis, but it's not a blank checkbook. So for example, I, I consult with a client or their family members and I'll try to get a good framework of what it is we want to accomplish both initially and on, on an ongoing basis. And so that con consultation is as I mentioned, complimentary. And if we want to move forward, then it's typically most people choose to pay for a set number of hours up front. Mm -hmm. And we work closely during that time to make sure we're on the right track, we're on the right path, that there's transparency and communication about what we're accomplishing and everybody's happy with the trajectory and where we're going and what's getting done. And, uh, and sometimes, as I mentioned, it could be a specific project mm -hmm. and at which case, you know, exactly how many hours you will need. And so it's sort of a flat fee. Mm -hmm. And then once things get going and set up, it's typically could be either a retainer each month 
Mm -hmm. And that may be a few hundred dollars, or it could be something more complicated where it's X amount of hours per week. Fair so enough. it's really, it's very varied. Um, mm -hmm. Is that, is that helpful? I think that's great. I think, I think, I, I think I understand that this is going to be different for everyone it depends on what they need. I think people should rest assured that there's going to be no surprises. They're going to know exactly what they're going to be paying. You don't just send bills and everything will be agreed to beforehand. And it can be, again, it depends on what they need. It could be very simple. And like you said, just a couple hundred bucks periodically, or it, it, depending on how involved you need to be. And that makes perfect sense. And with that, Terry Echarte, thank you very much for providing us with the benefit of your experience and you know, showing people just another way in which we can help them get them services, help make their lives easier, help them stay at home for longer. That's really all of our goals here. So that's, this is Terry Echarte with Terry K. Echarte Consulting LLC. We're gonna put our phone number and website in the show notes. This will be on our website. It'll be on the YouTube page. Terry, thank you so much for being here. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you, Jason, and thank you for all you do.